Speakers are just so opposite. It's amazing. And, you know, I believe to be effective with either of these speakers, the, the equipment that you hook it up to has to be appropriate because I feel like the equipment has to go in the opposite of the sound of each speaker. So because this speaker is very bright, very clear, and to my ears, the tweeter can be harsh at times, a sizzling sound to it. Um, this speaker needs a very warm sounding amp. And the room that this speaker should be in, in my opinion, again, should be a room that has carpeting, uh, possibly a lot of furniture to absorb the sound that's being uh, bounced around the room. This room is a very live room. It, it has a lot of echoes, it's tile. Um, so, uh, you know, a room that's tile, um, wood floors, stuff like that, this speaker right here, and with this speaker, an amp that's on the bright side, okay? So definitely an amp that is very high in um, uh, clarity, okay? So not really a warm amp, because then I think it would be too warm, okay? So this speaker has two six and a half inch woofers, and this has three eight inch. Now all three of these are uh, powered by your receiver or your amp, and these two are also powered by your receiver and your amp. In the back of this speaker, it has two ports. So over here it has two ports in the front. This one has two ports in the back. One's like up here, one's more like down here. This speaker, you can buy amp, okay? This speaker, you can't buy amp. This speaker is recommended at the maximum 200 watt receiver, this one 150 watt receiver. This one, the sensitivity is 95 decibels, and this one, it's, I believe it was 88, 89 or, or 90 or something like that. Let me look at it quickly, or maybe not so quick. Yeah. It looks like about 90 or so. Um, what they have is two ratings on here for it, so right about that. So this speaker, plays louder, much louder than this speaker. Okay. The specifications on these two speakers are pretty close overall. To be totally honest with you, you, you know, specifications are great and, and they do help, but many times the specifications are not really, um, you know, in my opinion, it, you know, it's, it's, it's not a huge factor. You know, it's, it's, it's all about the sound. And sometimes these specifications are kind of overrated a bit, again, in my opinion. So, you know, they're great to look at, but, you know, you can listen to a speaker where the tweeter says that it's rated up to 40 kilohertz and another speaker where the tweeter is rated to uh, 20 kilohertz. And the speaker that's rated to like 20 kilohertz might sound much sharper, more clear, so, you know, it's really all about listening to it and it's all about the equipment that you have that you're listening to it on. Um, as you can see, there's a big size difference. Okay, if you want big, big speakers, warm, full sounding speakers, it's this. If you want speak, a speaker that's more bright and smaller, um, I feel like the sound stage on this, I think is more like aimed right at you. That's how I feel when I'm listening to it. It's a little bit more like, aimed right at you. Whereas I feel like the sound stage on this is a little bit more, what is it, uh, diffused, a little bit more wide, uh, you know, for the sound stage over here. Um, as far as the bass goes on these things, I mean, this one definitely takes it. You know, you have three eight inch versus the two six and a halves. And the other issue that I have is with, with this speaker, <clears throat> when I'm playing it at a lower volume, the mid-range and the treble are louder than the bass. Again, this is my experience. When I get into playing it at like a more mid-range volume, and that's more so the volume that 
I would listen to the music on, you know, kind of overall, then it has a good balance. But when I get into the upper range, then it sounds like some of the upper bass kind of vanishes. Whereas this one, it starts off, <clears throat> it starts off with it being overall uniform, but the mid range might come through a little bit less. And as the volume increases, everything seems to increase evenly, but I believe that the mid range becomes more um, clear overall, the louder it is. But this speaker throughout the range of me listening to it either low or loud, it seems to maintain a balance between the bass, the mid range, and the treble. Whereas with this, it's much more picky. <clears throat> Now the price, actually let me back up, let me back up because over here, if I pull the speaker out from the wall about um, a foot or so or more, then the mid-range becomes much more clear. With this one, I feel like I want to put it closer to the wall because I don't want as much mid-range and treble sounding to, uh, to try to make it more balanced. So again, you know, these two speakers, I, I feel like are very opposite because I want to put this one closer to the wall. Okay, although the manufacturer says that if you pull it out like eight inches or so from the wall, the mid range will improve. Um, I feel like I want to put it closer to the wall. This one, I feel like I want to pull it further away from the wall. So with this one, I found that about like a foot away from the wall, it seemed to sound best, maybe even a little bit more. It just seemed to improve the overall sound stage of it and the, um, um, uh, the overall depth of the sound. When it comes to price, this one normally sells for 800. This one normally sells for 700. You know, of course, these are speakers. You could pick them up on sale. And I always suggest that, uh, excuse me, um, speakers tend to go on sale pretty often. If I was going to throw another speaker into the mix of these two, it would be the definitives on a sale because you could pick up the, the um, what is it, uh, the uh, bipolar 8020 and 8040. Those both have an 8 inch with a powered sub, <clears throat> or potentially even the 8060 for about the same price as this. Again, if the 8060 is on a sale, so those would be. Um, some speakers to consider that are also a tower that would be in you know this price range but those have the powered sub that's built into the speaker whereas these don't so with those of course you'd have to worry about you know the amp breaking um, especially after the warranty is over with these you know these things should last a long time um, I've never had a speaker on me actually break I usually end up just, you know, getting rid of them. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've never had a speaker where like, you know, something just went. Now, as far as movies go, as far as movies go, this speak, I mean, this speaker sounds good. You know, it has a lot of bass, it has a lot of fullness, it has a lot of depth. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a warm sounding, uh, speaker, but with movies, it, it you know it sounds good. Um, this speaker, because of the change in the bass at the higher volumes, when the movies are peaking. So if I set this at you know the volume for the movie, uh, you know the volume is usually set so that you could hear the voices, you could hear the words, you could understand it. So you set it for that. And then the movies, but the, you know, the movie volume is going to go up and down from there. So, you know, movies do sound clear. The voices for the movies come through, you know, fantastically. But when the movie peaks, it's kind of, you know, it's entering that range of um, where I'm hearing mostly upper bass from these two. And most of that lower bass just seems to vanish. And when I say lower bass, I'm talking about the, you know, the 50 hertz, 60 hertz, 70 hertz, maybe even like 80 hertz range or so, uh, because it sounds like I'm hearing more so the, um, the upper bass frequencies of like 160, 180, 200 hertz or so um, 
you know, whatever it might be. It sounds like that is starting to um, overpower it. So, <clears throat> you know, that's really a quick overview of these two speakers. Um, another word about the speakers that they do sell it in white, and I think that white would definitely be the um, potentially the better looking choice because there's really nothing special going on over here. It's just it's just like all like even black. There's like no color difference. At least over here, you got some yellow, you got some silver. Um, it's kind of breaking it up, and then this plastic looking plate. You know whether you like it or not. I guess it's kind of up to you. It's kind of got its own. Um, appeal to it I'm sure for some people and some people might say no to it what do you think I'd, I'd love to hear um, please put some comments in, in the comments below about if you own any of these speakers uh, you know, I'd love to hear about your um, equipment and what's hooked up to them you know how does it sound to you